back to school for students at the Talbot Middle School in Fall River. This morning, a special meeting was held to make that announcement. And as you may remember, the school has been closed for about a week after PCBs were detected in the building. And now the air has been deemed safe for students. Eyewitness News reporter Katherine Sotnik has more details from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. How can you say that that test is, is accurate? One after the other, concerned parents asked questions at a special school committee meeting in Fall River. In a couple of weeks, the heat's going to get turned on in the school, mm -hmm. and the kids are going to be stuck there with the air all circulating. I'd just like to know why the back of the building was not tested at all. The mayor attended along with environmental officials. At issue, PCBs, which were found in the caulking of windows at the Talbot Middle School, forcing city officials to close it down last week. The results are now in. It has been determined that the building is now safe to open. And according to the mayor, two recent rounds of testing show only low levels of PCBs in the school air. Parents uh, care about their children, and I, as the mayor of the city of Fall River, and as the chair of the Fall River School Committee, uh, also are uh, concerned about their children, and I care about their children. The tests uh, were run for six hours, which approximates uh, how much time the kids would be spending in school for a school day. Uh, they were put in, sample, in locations where uh, students would uh, be anticipated to be breathing. Still, some parents are uneasy. I just don't want to take the chance of any slight, even 1% possibility. This one mom says she's going to relocate her 8th grade daughter. I know that they've explained everything to the full extent, and I appreciate all the information that was given today, but still, um, for my own feelings, I'd like to have her removed. And and the next step now is to figure out a remediation plan to get rid of those PCBs altogether. I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.